What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is that I can. Mary say how are you doing? I'm just here at Princess Anne. I just had my 12 weeks gone. Well, not really 12 weeks. I'm over well over 12 weeks. Not like 18 weeks, same some days. And I'm just so excited because everything is fine. Baby's fine. Baby's doing well. It's like a reassuring scan. But you know, I had another scan before anyway. I had a private scan because I was really, really like worried because I had a miscarriage in my last pregnancy. As some of you guys know, I'm so, 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 so excited and looking forward to this. I just thought I'll share this with you guys because I know uh, you're rooting for me. Most of you, anyway, will be rooting for me. So yes, we're gonna have our third baby. I wonder if it's gonna be a girl or a boy. I don't know. Um, all I want is um for God to um to help us through all the pregnancy so that I don't have any miscarriage, so that I don't have any complications, that the baby is healthy. That's all that I want. I just want the baby to be healthy, whether it's a boy or it's a girl, I don't mind. And I wouldn't mind having another girl as well. <laughs> you know, I secretly I secretly wouldn't mind to have another girl but obviously when I'm talking to this girl I'll be like yeah I hope it's gonna be a boy because you really really want a boy but anyway guys um we're just so excited our third baby's on the way and we're thinking of names already and the thing is I really 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 don't want to find out this time I just want to to be a surprise I'm gonna buy neutral colors when it comes to baby grows and stuff like that. And I, I'm that one person who doesn't buy a lot of clothes for kids anyway when they're still young. I just buy rompers uh, from Primark, like white rompers, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe six rompers and a little bit of slip suits because I know they grow out of the clothes so quick. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna be, you know, worried about it because I know I'll go to Primark and just buy nice little you know things but anyway i just thought you know you're probably gonna see this video later 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 on because I, I i just don't feel after i had the miscarriage last time this is the thing it affects you psychologically i mean i trust god i totally believe god that you know everything that happens you know happens for a reason and everything that god does is perfect so the pregnancy that happened last time it doesn't necessarily you know mean that i'm gonna have another one and i totally trust god and i totally depend on god that everything is gonna go well but at the same time i feel like i don't wanna share too soon like i mean those that are close to me are gonna be able to know but with everyone else you can't hide your pregnancy anyway you'll be able to see i'm just so excited so you're probably gonna see this video maybe way later maybe when i'm after 20 weeks maybe when the baby's born i don't know but i thought let me just record this because it'll be nice for the baby to look back and to know actually mommy went for a baby scan for me so we went for this this today is um today is the 26th of august yeah and i've just come on my own because kids are not allowed so scott had to stay with the kids at home nice and peaceful <laughs> you know on my first baby scott wouldn't miss anything even when it was just bloods he would be like i want to go anything he would want to go but now because of 30 baby i'm like babe calm down i'll bring you pictures so yeah we we got a scan at um princess Anne and managed to get this little pictures for the baby which is kind of nice we didn't pay for anything really even for the pictures we got pictures this is half oh there is some that are full that are inside but because obviously i'm holding my phone to record i'm not gonna show you all the things but anyway we officially 13 weeks in two days and this baby is meant to be born two days after my birthday like <laughs> exciting 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 it will be a nice little present although i'm gonna be like oh nobody's gonna clean it on my bed but it doesn't matter it's gonna be a nice surprise nice surprise i'm really 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 
excited and i'm just praying to god you know i'm waking up i'm finding myself waking up during the night and just praying for all the women that i think you know they're going through stuff like miscarriages women that i know that are going through maybe trying for a baby and it's been taking a long and i've just been praying to god that god if you did it for me you can do you can do it for others you know i'm just i keep on I'm, i'll keep on praying for that just keep on praying for that blessing that god just just hear us out we want to make our babies we want to make families and the way the word of god what does the word of god say the word of god says you know whatever we ask we shall get and i'm just praying like whatever every woman is wishing for and is asking god is able to grant it god is able to give it so yeah we are there in weeks plus two days i'm excited and um, what else did i wanted to say oh yeah i wanted to mention that i went to another scan when i was like um i went to another scan when i was like i thought i was i thought i was 10 weeks something and then i booked a private scan because obviously i told you i was really nervous because i had a miscarriage before so we went to a private scan i think we paid 55 pounds it wasn't even that expensive and then i went to the private scan and it was just amazing it was just an amazing experience it's different even the gel that they put on your belly is warm and then after that they give us like a little present uh with a bottle and a, a book to write the the stages of the pregnancy it was really really sweet and the the pictures you know on the scone the pictures on the tv screen they were really clear and the screen was massive and was big and at 10 weeks i could i was able to see the babe like so clear and i got pictures as well for free which is really really nice so yeah i had a private skin it's, i think it's called it's called hey baby so that's just a helicopter I'm at the hospital, <laughs> Southampton General Hospital. You know, we have got like hospital helicopters coming in to the emergency a lot. But anyway, um, yeah, it was it was nice. It was a different experience. Like, you know, when you come here and you want to do this con here, the baby looks like little aliens, like the eye sockets are like this. <laughs> You're just like, oh, my God, with the NHS, when you come to the NHS, it's just like, you know, but to be honest, I'm really, really grateful because we don't get to pay a penny for this. I know we pay taxes and stuff, but I mean, you can literally get your pregnant and just go and do it. You don't have to pay a penny. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be getting a lot of pay. Everybody is for I'm so grateful to God for that. I'm so grateful for the NHS and I'm so happy that I work for the NHS. Anyway, enough of that. You can tell that I'm excited. I don't even know what I was saying, guys. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Anyway, I am reassured. And now I'm just praying to God that the pregnancy goes well. Everything is fine. And I am praying for every woman to be able to experience this joy, this happiness, this excitement. I am praying. I am praying. I might not be vocal about it because it's obviously a very sensitive topic, but I know, I know God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. So yeah, guys, excited. And baby, we love you so much. Sarah and Jen are really excited to meet this baby. They, they kiss the baby every time and they've got little names that they want to give to the baby and um there's a bit of arguments because the daddy wants to call the name the baby a boy name and the girls are like no it's a girl they want a girl <laughs> so it's just exciting it's just an exciting moment and i'll just tell you like about my journey like my first 12 weeks we're fine but i had a lot of nausea i couldn't cook and i had to explain to school like listen you know after 12 weeks this goes away so please bear with me i couldn't cook everything was smelling i didn't want meat i couldn't eat meat i i, I just can't stand meat i can't stand onion i can't stand garlic i don't want to bath i don't like bathing when i'm pregnant um what else i don't like I don't like um what else don't i like i don't like to clean i'm just lazy literally and i sleep a lot i can literally just think you know what let me just nap and i'll just nap in the sky for two hours or three even the whole day but anyway 
now that I'm in my 30 week, 13 weeks and two days. I initially thought that I was 12 weeks and something, but I'm so glad because now I'm in my second trimester and I'm back to normal. Now I love to bath. Now I love to clean a little bit. I want to actually go back home now and do a bit of thorough cleaning. And now I like to do stuff that i didn't want to do i can cook for my family nicely now and i don't i'm not picky on food i can eat meat as well which is quite nice but anyway guys i just thought i should give you like a little background i don't want you i don't want to come here and be like boom we are a family of five i've got a third baby i i don't think that's nice so i was like i'll just give you a little para and also i think the other thing that i wanted to talk about was um these days guys there is this system like when you get pregnant even if you call your gp your gp will be like just do your self-referral so i did a, a self-referral to the nhs and guess what guys it took them over six weeks for them to actually call me and say we are arranging an appointment for you right now as we're speaking i don't even have pregnancy notes they haven't took anything from me but i had to call them last week every single day about the scan because i needed to do the syndrome um screening test and blood test for the baby before the baby gets 14 weeks so when i went to the private scan they were like if you want to do it privately it's like 400 pounds but i wouldn't advise it just call your midwife and then get it done before it's 14 weeks because i know you think your baby is 10 weeks but your baby is measuring already 12 weeks and so far and she was saying like look at the neck a baby that is 10 weeks uh, you can't really see the neck clearly like this so if i was you i'd call the nhs and press them for it so i call them every day last week like i need that scan i need i don't care about you taking minutes i need the scan and then two days ago they called me and said okay we've got an emergency scan for you come and i'm glad i did because today i'm measuring 13 weeks in two days so if i spend another week without coming that means i would have been 14 weeks so now i don't even know who my midwife is <laughs> i don't even know but what i know is god is god what I know is some people actually go to give birth without no scan, with no scans, with no midwife, and everything goes well. If God is in it, everything goes well. So yeah, that's where we are. That's where we are. I'm just going to go. I have to run back home because Scott is working, but he had to come back home to stay with the kids for at least three hours whilst I go to get a scan. So he has to go back to work. So now I am, if he knows that I'm doing this video, he's going to be pissed off because he told me i need to be home as soon as i finish but i was like let me do this video i'll just do a 15 minutes video so that I, do, I won't regret that i haven't done the video so yeah i'm so excited and did i tell you that the baby is almost on my birthday <laughs> exciting anyway guys thank you so much for staying here i thought i should give you an update um don't forget to subscribe and to like and um yeah wishing all the women the best and all the dads the best the dads to be and the mom to be the best take care subscribe love you bye